Hi guys, let's talk about this concept called the 10x engineer. So I, I wrote an article entitled the 10x engineer, 1x engineer, 0x engineer, and negative engineer, which I'm going to go through now. So uh, let's think about this concept, the 10x engineer. When I first heard about the 10x engineer, it was actually several years ago. I was on the phone with a recruiter and the recruiter told me, hey Tung, you should really hire this engineer. He's a 10x engineer. And it's a very catchy phrase. Uh, I, I got it right away. I mean, a tech engineer in my mind is, okay, that makes sense. He can achieve 10x more times of productivity than a regular engineer. I'm like, okay, that's great. But let's, let's, let's think about this logically. In any given day, there are eight hours in any given day. So does a 10x engineer work 80 hours in a day? Well, no, that can't work. That's not possible. Um, and don't forget, you have to sleep too. So a 10x engineer uh, is not working 10 times more quantity than a 1x engineer, a 10x engineer is actually wiser about his decision-making process. So he's wiser about choosing the highly leveraged activities, and that's how he achieves 10x productivity. Uh, he's smart about his decisions. So that's a 10x engineer. A 1x engineer is an engineer who's average, which is it's actually still a great thing because engineering is very difficult, so that's a great thing. Um, now next, a 0x engineer, uh, not so great. A 0x engineer manages to do absolutely nothing. So imagine uh, you're slaving on a feature for um, 40 hours a week. Let's say you were slaving on it for more than 40 hours a week. You, let's say you're working on it for 60 hours a week, okay? And you work on the feature for two straight months and then finally ship the code to production and yay, you celebrate. But then um, after it goes out to production, you realize that no one uses it. No one uses the feature you've worked so hard on for two months. Um, that my friends is zero X engineering. A very scary thing, uh, believe it or not, there's something even scarier, negative X engineering. So the negative X engineer is somebody who manages to cause more work for the other team members. Let's say somebody who um, is not very familiar with the code base and he's just trying to help, okay, but he jumps in there and it turns out whatever he does, everybody has to undo it and fix it and it causes more work for other people. He literally drags the team down. So let's review the terms real quick. There is... The 10x engineer, an engineer who is very wise and effective about where he focuses to use his time and energy. All right, he can achieve 10x more levels of productivity than the average engineer. The 1x engineer is the average engineer, and that's a great thing. Uh, the 0x engineer is somebody who manages to get nothing done. <laughs> a negative x engineer is somebody who actually hurts the team. He manages to cause more work for everybody else. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you enjoy content like this, uh, be sure to like it to uh, encourage more content like this. If you have any questions or have any ideas for additional videos, feel free to comment below. And if you need any DevOps help, check out Bolt Ops. Subscribe for more video content like this. Cheers, guys.